Okay, uh, we will do graphing linear functions uh, 3.6, uh, graphing absolute value functions, and this is the final item in graphing linear functions. Um, let's start. Uh, in To graph absolute value function, uh, find the vertex by setting the expression inside the bars to zero to find the x coordinate and solving for y. Then create a table of values using points to the left and right of the vertex, uh, plotting them and finally connect them in a V-shape to form the graph. Steps to graph an absolute value function. Number one, identify the parent function. Start with the basic absolute value function f of x equal absolute x, which is a V-shaped graph with a vertex at the origin 0, 0. Number two, find the vertex. Find the x coordinates. Set the expression inside the absolute value bars equal to zero and solve for x. Find the y coordinates. Substitute this x value back into the entire function to find the corresponding y value. Number three, create a table value. Choose at least two x values less than the vertexes x coordinate and two x values greater than the vertexes x coordinate. Plug these x values in the function to find their corresponding y values. Number four, plot two points. Plot the vertex the other x, y pairs from your, your table on a coordinate plan. Number five, draw a V shape. Connect the point with lines from a V shape that extends in opposite direction from the vertex. Okay. Uh, let's um, pursue. There's a video here we have to watch about the value function and find its vertex. Absolute value function and find its vertex. Graph about absolute value function and find its vertex. So let's watch. Right. So let's see a couple more examples, maybe with a few more things thrown at us here. So. Remember, when we're looking to graph an absolute value equation, it's easiest to start with the vertex. And we find the vertex by setting what's inside the absolute value bars equal to zero. Now for example three, we actually have part that's outside the absolute value bars. And that part doesn't affect the x coordinate of the vertex. All I care about is setting what's inside. So just the that part is just to find the x coordinate of the vertex. Plug in each value. So this would be 1 plus 5, 2 plus 5, 3 plus 5, 1 plus 5, 2 plus 5, 3 plus 5. So we go up. That's all the values of y above that. So since our vertex is at 5 on the y axis, <clears throat> we're going to start there. And our graph goes up from that, so it goes up to infinity, because it's just going to keep going up and up and up forever and ever. All right. That would bring me to positive 1 over 3, and then positive 4 over 3, a past the negative mark. And we can just keep counting out that way. So we've got some fractions, no worries, because if I come in here and plug that fraction in, so if I have 3 times negative 2 over 3, when we multiply 3 to a fraction with 3 in the denominator, these cancel to 1. 3 divided by 3 becomes 1. So really, that's this point. The vertex is right at 0. So negative 2 thirds 0. I just put it, again, about 2 thirds of the way. And range is going to start where our vertex is. And since our graph goes up, it goes up from there. So since our vert, so if I put in negative, it's getting multiplied by a negative. And that domain is still all real. <clears throat> now I'm gonna plug each value in and see what I get. Starting with four, so negative one half plus one will bring us to positive one half. And when we subtract four from that, right, plugging in zero, 
that just makes all of this zero. So that becomes this other side. And we get this root is negative four. And we keep going up and up forever, so towards positive infinity. See you next time. So let's go back. My work is easy because I use ClickUp. Here's how I get. Okay, uh, let's pursue uh, our tutorials uh, here about uh, uh, graphing absolute value functions. Uh, after we watched the video, we noticed how we do the graph. Um, key characteristics vertex the point where the two lines uh, of the V-shape meet. The graph changes direction here. Symmetry. The graph of an absolute value function is symmetric about a, vert a vertical line passing through the vertex domain. The domain of an absolute value function is always all real numbers. Range. The range depends on the vertex and the direction of the graph opens. If the graph opens upward, positive leading coefficient, the range is all y values greater than or equal the vertex y coordinate. If the graph opens downward, negative leading coefficient, the range is all y values less than or equal to the vertex's coordinate. Uh, you can uh, watch this video, an example of graphing absolute value functions. So let's watch this video. Hello everyone. This video is on the Newton Alta assignment, section 3.6, called Graph Absolute Value Functions. We have a question related to that objective. And at the bottom of every question, 